this is the mentoring program for technical women in LACNIC. You can register to this pro in this program. You have time until the 29th of October. So pay attention because Alessia will be giving us information on this course. He is project research project coordinator. Alessia, you have the floor. Thank you, Andrea. Welcome everyone. Welcome to this space that we'll be having for the mentoring program for IT women. This is an initiative that was developed by LACNIC back in 2020. The main objective is to promote the participation, leadership and professional development of women in the technical community and also in the internet ecosystem and particularly in the LACNIC participation spaces. We can say that this program has specific features. It promotes build capacity building and knowledge generation for professional women in the technical field. It also contributes to the analysis, generation and access to knowledge favoring the development of technical papers on relevant topics for the community. At the same time, it promotes the acquisition of skills and cross-cutting skills for the participants. This through specific training activities provided throughout the program. And finally, it provides a space for learning, exchanging and collaborating among the leaders of the technical community as mentors and also of the selected participants. This program is addressed at women who have a technical profile, women from Latin America and Caribbean, who are interested in developing a technical work, technical work that can contribute to the deployment and management of networks as well and or the promotion of the use and deployment of internet standards in the region. These papers can focus on studying the internet technologies and then documenting the technical specifications. This call includes several topics of interest. Among these, we have IP network operations, success stories, best practices, internet protocols, domain name services, transition deployment and advance in IPv6 as well as measurements, tools and analysis on protocols and the internet. These are just some of the topics of interest for the technical papers that we are making for 2021, but there are others too. The list is much longer. So I encourage you to visit LACNIC's website and the communities tab you can obtain information on the mentoring program and find information on the topics of interest. This program and the main activities is developed over a six month period. In the case of this edition, the 2021 edition, this will begin in the month of November and will finish at least with the main activities in April 2022. Whereas the presentation of the final results of the technical papers that are developed by the candidates, this will be in the month of May 2022. In general terms, the activities consist in four meetings with the allocated mentor to training activities on soft skills, the development of the technical work, which has to be finished within the six month mentoring period, and then the presentation of the results at LACNIC 37 event, which will be in May 2022. Now, what are the benefits of the program for those potential candidates who would be interested in participating in this program? One of the main features is the initial assignment of a leader to each nomin nominate nominee and this assignment 
has follow up the mentors, uh, leaders of the technical community who are involved in different roles. On one hand, as mentors for producing the technical work and with follow up throughout the entire period, also as a coach in the preparation of presentations and dissemination of that work. And thirdly, as a guide on professional development. One of the main activities, as we mentioned earlier, is the presentation of the results of that technical paper. Then this will be done in the format of the lighting talk, lightning talk in LACNIC 37. Another benefit is access to two training activities on professional development and effective presentations. The main purpose is to provide skills for the participants that can then be used in their future development beyond the conclusion of the mentoring program. And finally, free access to the courses provided in LACNIC's online campus, including paid courses. The selection criteria for the program are based on three main axes, on the technical background of the candidates, the topic of the proposed paper, and the relevance this has for LACNIC's community. As we said, there are special topics of interest and the feasibility of developing the technical task during the mentoring period. This evaluation will be by the program selection committee made up by three members of LACNIC staff. These are Guillermo Sicileo, who is research and development leader on the internet infrastructure, Graciela Martinez, who is leader of LACNIC CERT, and Laura Kaplan, who is manager for development and cooperation. As I said initially, the first edition of the program was developed in 2020. The results were excellent, both in terms of dissemination and in the interest generated by the community. 33 nominations were received from 19 countries of the region, some also from the Caribbean. Among the several topics that were presented, some are highlighted like IPv6 transition and implementation, some of the proposed papers were on Internet of Things and network automation. And regarding the profile of the selected candidates, both nominated and those were selected, there is um, many related to IT, electronic engineering and engineering in electric, electricity and also communications. As we mentioned initially, the 2021 version is all open, so we are sending out an invitation to all those who are interested in applying to this initiative. This initiative will open until October 29th. The Application is online, victoria.lacnic.net. On November the 11th, we'll be announcing the selected nominees and the mentoring program would be, will begin on November the 16th through to the 8th of April. Then the results will be presented at the event of May 2022. If you have any questions, you can address you can send an email to mentoreo at lacnic.net. We now will provide testimonials of two of the candidates of the 2020 edition. These are Vanessa de Olvileira Melo and Maria Jesus Cresi from Brazil and Uruguay, respectively, who will be telling us about the technical work they carried out, about their experience during the mentoring program and their impressions. Hi, I'm Vanessa Miller. I am a network analyst at Trey, a company of the local web group, and I participated in the IT Women program in 2020, presenting a technical paper on network automation 
item potency of the configuration of an AS. The main objective of this paper was to research the culture of the OPs, the automation tools focused on the networks. In other words, I started from a standpoint, which would be the configuration of anti-spoofing in several devices, and I focused on three manufacturers, three vendors, Juniper, Cisco, and Microtech, to see how the configuration would be carried out. So I presented this at the last LACNIC, I presented the errors in the last ACNIC, and the positive things, and this was very interesting because I could develop several soft skills, there were many training activities and workshops, some had to do with time management and presentation of the projects. The participation and the lessons learned during these courses were most helpful in my current work, in my professional life, because I can now present a project with much, in a much better way. I can present my ideas more clearly, I can better organize my time and manage my time and align the deadlines more clearly. This was very positive for me. Also professionally, I had the opportunity of having Carlos Martinez as a mentor. He is someone who has amazing technical knowledge. I learned so much with him both in terms of networks and on computing in general. So this was a very positive participation, very enriching because I learned so much from being able to participate in this program. We'd like to thank Vanessa for having accepted to participate in this instance. Now we we'll go over to the next testimonial from Maria Jose Cresi, who will be telling us us about her experience. I'm Maria Jesus Greci. I'm a telematics engineer and I'm currently working as a pre-sales manager in the cybersecurity company for City. I participated in the mentoring system of LACNIC. I prepared a paper based on research in the context of Internet of Things. The objective of the investigation was to identify solutions and platforms for rural areas where there is only limited or non-existent connectivity, where implement Devices have to be set up such as probes or different actuators in the context of IoT to collect data. Or acting with some signals. And as I said earlier, connectivity is uh, nil. Is null. So then we added another challenge since we identified that our uh, target uh, audience was a service provider. So the challenge was to have our platform that was that had uh, an IoT traditional infrastructure would uh, turn into a software defined platform, SD IoT. Um, that may scale to massive networks as required by service providers of great implementations. My experience in the program was very good and especially enriching from the technical point of view. And also with regard to visibility and uh, the exchange with different people with a lot of uh, knowledge in the area and experience. The role of the mentor is essential, not just for the technical support and technical support to help solve the problems, but also for the follow-up and the organization of work in the months that we had arranged. So through the program, I managed to enhance my technical abilities and also in managing time and in 
developing effective uh, um, uh, tools uh, thanks to the workshops. Um, in my particular case, um, it um, also helped me to work in uh, Uruguay and also to get involved in the regional technical community. Thank you. Thank you both, Maria Jesus and Vanessa, for your uh, testimonies, testimonials. And this is, uh, a re this is to remind those who are interested in knowing and those who want to know what the 2020 um, version was. Thank you, Alicia, for your presentation. Now we are going to give a few minutes uh, to ask questions, but I have to ask you, since this is the last edition, do you have the possibility of seeing uh, the works or the presentations of the first edition? Yes, indeed. They, it's possible to find them in prensa.lacnic.net. That's how the papers are, the, 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 you have it under the heading New Talents in the Technical Community, and you have the presentations that the participants had of the edition 2020. And I also inv I invite those interested in postulating and in, 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 uh, nominating and those interested in the results of the technical uh, projects to see the details. Thank you, Alicia. Laura, do you have any questions uh, for Alicia? Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Alexia. I have a question from Claudio Ochoa. And he asks, is it necessary to be involved in the technical community before um, applying or having conducted any of the uh, technical projects uh, on, the, on these topics? Thank you for your question. Uh, as to the first, first part, being involved in the technical community earlier, no, it's not a requirement. As a matter of fact, the objective of the program is to favor and promote the participation of women in the technical community and the internet ecosystem, and particularly in LACNIC's uh, participation spaces. And as to the second part, having developed work on the issues of uh, uh, interest. It's not a requirement. So the idea, it would be a positive thing if the person uh, had a previous work on those topics. Laura, we go on with uh, you. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Alicia.